All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by replacing 10 here with 9 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 9 plus 1, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 9. Now from here, if I factor out 2 to the power of 9, I get 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now, a second method of solving this problem, again, 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. This time, instead of replacing 10 with 9 plus 1, I'm going to replace 9 with 10 minus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 plus negative 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of negative 1. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of 10, I get 2 to the power of 10 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1. 2 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 2, so I have 2 to the power of 10 times 1 minus 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 1 half. 1 half is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to start off, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. So this can equal x times log 5, which is equal to log 7. Now, we're obviously solving for the value of x. So I'm going to get rid of this log 5 by dividing both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out. And now I'll be left with x is equal to log 7 over log 5. So log 7, this is actually equal to 0 0.845. And log 5, that's equal to 0 0.698. So log 7 over log 5 that's going to equal approximately 1.209. So this is my answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2x, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, a to the power of m times n, this is also equal to a to the power of n times m, right? We could switch the order of these two. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And if these three are equal, then this means that a to the power of n to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of two to the power of x, this is the same thing as two to the power of x to the power of two. So now I have x to the power of x is 2 to the power of x to the power of 2.
Now, 2 to the power of x squared, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. So now, on both sides, I'm going to divide by 2 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to x over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Remember, if I have something to form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x times 1 over x, these two cancel out. And again, these two cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to simply multiply both sides by 2. These two cancel out. So on my left hand side, I have x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 4 is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So I know that x equals 4, so now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 4. Now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so I have 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And because this is right, my solution is right. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So to solve, to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by rewriting 19 here as 18 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 18 plus 1, you can write that as 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. So now from here, I can simply factor out 2 to the power of 18. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 times, now 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 18, or sorry, divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1. And now this minus, or sorry, negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply negative 1. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is simply equal to 2 to the power of 18. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to simplify this to get the exact value of 2 to the power of 18. So 2 to the power of 18, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 9, as most of you probably know, is 512. So this is the same thing as 512 to the power of 2. Now 512 to the power of 2, I can write as 500 plus 12 to the power of 2. And this is the same thing as 500 plus 12 times 500 plus 12. So now to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start by distributing 500. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 12. Plus, now I can distribute the 12. So I have 12 times 500 plus 12 times 12. So now 500 times 500, this is the same thing as 250,000. So I have this plus 500 times 12, this is the same thing as 6,000, plus again 6,000, plus 144. Now 6,000 plus 6,000 is 12,000, and 12,000 plus 250,000 is 262,000, so I have 262,000, and we can't figure out 144 then, 
So I have 262,144. So this is my answer.